This video will be on application programming interface attacks. What is an API? Well, essentially, API allows two software programs to communicate with each other. One program can call another program's API to get access to data or functionality of the other program. APIs are needed to bring applications together in order to perform a design function built around sharing data and executing predefined processes. They're basically the middleman, allowing developers to build new programmatic interactions between the various applications people and businesses use on a daily basis. APIs have access to data much more quickly than web applications. Also, API landscape changes constantly and a lot of companies are skipping on testing for security vulnerabilities. Here's an example of API attack. November 2018, 60 million USPS users had their data exposed because of a broken API for the Postal Service's informed delivery. Informed delivery is something that allows users to sign up for a service the lets them look at their incoming mail, set delivery instructions, manage deliveries, track packages, and more. This API attack accepted search parameters containing wildcards. This means that it didn't bother to check who the user is and if they had the privilege to initiate their request. All attacker needed to do then was to make a dummy account and modify data elements to make a specific request and get any information he or she wishes. In order to respond more effectively to API security threats, the Open Web Application Security Project has been publishing 10 different frequent and high-risk security threats every year.